Well, I'm very excited to be back in Pakistan. I haven't been here for about 35 or 40 years, I'm ashamed to say. And of course, the country has changed hugely uh, during that time. And unfortunately, on this trip, I've only been able to come uh, to Islamabad. But I'm very excited by, uh, by the prospects for this country and what we might be able to do with them. Well, I'd like to have a longer time here with fewer meetings to get to know the country again better. But uh, out of necessity, I'm only here for a short period. But we're hoping that our organization, the Commonwealth Enterprise and Investment Council, can set up a hub office here. That's what we want to do uh, in Karachi, hopefully with the support of the government and of Pakistani-based businesses to take greater advantage of the Commonwealth, which is a great place to do business. Well, look, we're a membership organisation, our organisation, and we have members from every sector. And certainly there are every kind of sector here in Pakistan who would benefit from being able to get to know Commonwealth partners better, to export into Africa and elsewhere throughout the Commonwealth, from fintech, from uh, mobile phones, uh, from manufacturing, from garments. We already have about four or five members, and I would hope that we would uh, at least double that during this trip in order to give us the, the excuse um, to uh, open up an office here and then better serve those members and recruit even more. Well, I think it'd be a bit difficult for me to comment having only been here for less than 48 hours, but certainly the last meeting I've had this afternoon was with uh, somebody who, with a partner, has started up an incubator here, particularly in the mobile phone world, fintech world, and uh, he was extraordinarily interesting about the, the quality of people coming through that incubator. They have a 67% success rate and they're sending people out to be the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. And if there are people like that in this country, that bodes extremely well for the future. Well, it's certainly given me a desire to return, to, to learn more. I hadn't actually been to Islamabad before. I've been to Karachi, I've been to uh, Peshawar, I've been to Lahore, but I've never been to Islamabad. I've always heard what a wonderful leafy city it is and uh, it certainly is that the hospitality has been incredible and the sights. I only wish we went up to the mountains today to look down on the city and it was shrouded in cloud. Uh, so I want to come back on a clearer day to see more of it. But certainly it's a city well worth visiting. And Pakistan is on a road to somewhere very interesting now. I think uh, the communications within the country have improved. Uh, I think the politics are more stable. And I think it's really ready to play a more active part within the Commonwealth and further afield. So I'm excited by that, yes. Well, I think they should look towards the world, become global citizens, to become globally engaged. I think the Commonwealth is a natural place to start doing that. And also, I think uh, there's a huge role for the diaspora uh, of Pakistan, of whom we have many in the United Kingdom, to play a greater role back here in Pakistan in nurturing and mentoring some of these startup businesses in making them the big companies of tomorrow. Because uh, the way you alleviate uh, poverty, you increase education, you increase productivity, is through trade and business.